Bingo! Informational. See if we can see. Good. Okay? I don't give tests, but if you want me to, we will. Because otherwise you won't learn it. Stalin took notes, so you remember it. Okay? Write things down. Okay? Um, good. Did any of you guys see that play out this week? Last week? Did you see anybody do anything? You'd be like, that's coercive power. Did you do anything about it? Yeah. What'd you do? My uh, sophomores are having a discussion about um, one of our, what they call problem fish. Um, <laughs> and they were talking about different ways to like, help him improve. Okay. And I was, I was talking to him, and I was like, partly that's coercive power. That's proven to be like, the worst kind. You should not do that. Would you? <laughs> he he like, kind of got a little flushed, got a little embarrassed. Like, your fish or your sophomores? My sophomore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah what they, what they think? They it's used like, the word you didn't understand, right? Mm -hmm. He's like, oh. <laughs> How'd you feel about that? Feel pretty good. Yeah, I like I right? Awesome. Stupid there. sophomores yeah. haven't had psalms yet. Right? <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Good for you. Good. I like it. You're in a living lab. Anybody else? No? All right. It's up to you. Pay attention. Okay. What do you like doing? This isn't, this isn't hard. Sleeping. Sleeping, good. What else? Skiing. skiing? Snow skiing? Water skiing? Snow skiing. Where? That's the only group. Where are you from? Colorado. Oh, okay, good. Thank God. Okay. That's good. Te te Texans are like, what? What are we? If you're from here, different. Where in Colorado are you from? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Good. Home of Colorado State. Yeah. Um, used to be the Aggies. They did. Yeah. Okay, good. See? I know everything. Okay. Uh, what else do you like doing? Hunting, good, okay. Fishing, good, okay. Creative. <laughs> Anything else? Sports. Sports, okay, what do you like doing? Playing basketball. Playing basketball, okay, cool, what else? Eating. <laughs> At least she weighs like 90 pounds, okay. It's awesome, good for you. Uh, okay, what else? What's your favorite food? Oh, kimchi, right? Sure. What's your favorite? Uh, you said you like kimchi. I, rem I read what you guys write. Like what? Texas <laughs> We go from kimchi to Texas rolls. You just like the rolls? Yeah. Okay. Rolls and butter? Good. All right. Cool. Just the butter. Just the butter? Okay. Cool. Good. What else? What do you like doing? This isn't hard. Training. Huh? Training. Training? Okay. Cool. What else? Huh? Lifting. Lifting? Good. Okay. Uh, do you do deadlifts? Uh, more like a power cleans and a and, and back squat. Okay. How much do you squat? Do you bench more than you squat? Mm, no, no, that's fine. That's good. Don't bench more than you squat. <laughs> Most people don't do squats. Best exercise you can do. If you want bigger arms, do squats. It's true. It's your largest muscle group. Cool. Why do you like doing those things? Makes me feel good. Makes you feel good. Yeah, it's <laughs> sleeping. Valid. <laughs> okay. Valid. You want to be a doc, right? Yes, sir. Okay. What else? Rest is important for your physician. What else? What, why do you like doing these things? Why do you like training? Make progress. Make progress. Always? Okay, fair enough. What else? It's relaxing. Relaxing? Yes, it is. Good. What else? Adrenaline dumps. Adrenaline? Adrenaline dump? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? It's like with hunting after you get the kill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You still get buck fever every time? Okay. All right. What else? Rhythm. Okay. You already talked. What do you like doing, Sophia? Crocheting. Crocheting. Okay. Why? Okay. Cool. What else? Why? fun. How do you feel afterwards? You feel better? You clear your mind a little bit? You ever go for a run to get stress out? Okay. Same thing with lifting? Feel better after you lift? Okay. Put your phone away. Uh, why else? What else? 
Why do you like eating, Alicia? Do you get hangry? You like it super angry? You know? Yeah, hilarious. Okay, very true. Okay. What happened that made you that way? It's real boring if I talk, guys. Yeah, you found out you liked it, right? Went fishing, enjoyed it. Okay, good. What else? You want to do it again, right? You ever gone fishing, not catch anything? Yeah. Still have fun? Yeah. Sure. Who plays golf? Who plays golf well? <laughs> right? But well, why do you like playing golf? Because uh, it's like, it's always an opportunity to go out again and go play. Yeah, okay. And what? sometimes you hit one really good shot, right? Okay, you just took an eight on a hole and it's terrible. You got a quadruple bogey and the next hole you hit a great shot. You're like, oh, I love this game. I'll keep playing. Right? Okay, cool. What else? What happened that made you that way? What do you like doing? Shooting the pool. Shooting the pool. Why? When did you start doing it? Okay. Okay, cool. So do something with your dad, right? So now when you do it, it maybe reminds you of your dad, whether you're home or not, right? Okay, cool. What do you not like doing? School. School. Awesome. Helpful. Good. Glad we're here at 8 a.m. class. What else? Uninspiring work. Uninspiring work. What do you mean? Busy work. You don't like busy work? Okay, so uh, you okay with school? Just not for the sake of having to do something? Okay. What else? Watching Zach Calzada play quarterback. <laughs> You're in for a long season, buddy. Okay. Long season. Uh, okay. What else? They still won. Kid showed hard at the end. All right. What else? What do you not like doing? This is a long and distinguished list. All you guys do is complain about the court. What do you not like doing? Burpees. Burpees. Good. Awesome. Okay. What else? Losing. Losing. Don't like losing at what? Something that really requires you. Then you lose at the end. Okay, so give me an example. So we have a few things to unpack here. First of all, how much did you weigh? Uh, over 300 pounds. You did? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, as a sophomore? Uh, I, I went into the core my, uh, my sophomore year. Okay, cool. All right, so tramp, so frogged in. Good for you. No, 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 no. I was here to fish, but I got, uh, I got dismissed. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. all right. So lost weight, earned your weight back. Okay, admirable. So you lost 98 pounds and were unhappy. You lost 98 pounds, bro. So you hit 98% of your goal. So you got an A in class and you were mad. Yeah. Okay. Tells me something about you. All right? Um, okay. Tells me some admirable things. All right, cool. What else? What do you not like doing? So wait, The funny part is you said you don't like losing, yet your whole goal was to lose. <laughs> okay. What else? Adjusting. Interesting. What do you mean? You were talking about the things you don't like about the court, having to change what did happen and what they're telling us now to do. Okay. Especially when it doesn't come with any real reason. Uh, unnecessary change. Unnecessary change. Why is it unnecessary? Because it's not explained well and we can still justify it. Like, for example, like, uh, I think I know, or at least kind of on the line, right? Like, we don't have fall out holes anymore for the fish, but they're going to cram us all in. Okay, uh, have any of you asked why? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who does? Okay. Like in the brief, he basically was like, I will win that battle. And then just like completely shut it down. The 
this was this year? Yeah. So, okay. So Colonel Stebbins right now? Okay. All right. What else? Wasting time? I'll just add on to that and say, like, reading on the wall. Doing what? Reading on the wall. What is that? A lot of things for our service. What, what is that? Where you read on the wall. Like, when you stop in the hallway. Okay. But you still do whip out, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's for that, too. Well, I've heard it. It's still fun. Okay. All right. See, once we start complaining about the core, it all comes flooding out. <laughs> Why? Why do you not like doing these things? They throw our rhythm off. Your rhythm? Okay. Speak for yourselves, by the way. They I'm asking you personally. Start, huh? They start taking away the integrity of the organization. Like, <laughs> <laughs> do they? No, I mean, it's just these little things that they start, like, taking away. They're, they're going to change for no real reason at all because some quad mom complained that their son was being yelled at. Right, but you also have the right to pursue the point. You can ask why. Yeah, we do. And they don't give us a reason. Well, then ask again. If the answer is because I said so or because we've always done it that way, those are terrible answers. So, so solve the problem. If you're not getting an answer as to why, one, it might be how you're going about it. And two, it might be because you know, you're not working through your chain of command. If you're going straight to the commandant, he don't want to talk to you because you skipped the chain of command. Now, if you went to the commandant and said, by the way, I've worked through my chain of command. I've asked these questions. I haven't got the answers I want. Can you help me understand this? Right? Then you can work through it. And then say, okay, what do I go back and tell my outfit? What do I go back and tell my heads? Because, and you can say, if the answer is because I said so, well, that's fine, but that's kind of a tough answer because they want to know why. It's usually up to you guys. If you want to find the answer, find the answer. It's up to you guys and how you go about it. If you come in there and you're like, I don't get it. This is dumb. What do you think they're going to do? Said so, bro. Not a good answer, not a good approach. It's up to you guys. Okay. All right, what else? You're not topic here. What do you not like doing? Who doesn't like PT? Sometimes. It's okay. You're not alone. Some of you are afraid to raise your hands right now. Who does not like PT? Okay, females, do you like PT? Kind of. Is it better when you're not around the guys? It's fun being with them. Okay, do you run with guys and girls or just girls when you go for a run with friends? Mix? Okay, cool. Who does not like working out around the guys? Any of you? Typically, women in the court don't like working out with you because you guys are disgusting. Right? There's, we are so, men are so gross and we don't care. Okay? Pushing on ant piles. We smell terrible. We're spitting. Okay, have you ever run, guys, you ever run next to a girl and they don't even make noise? Okay? They're, they like float on the air and you're <laughs> plodding along, okay? breathing heavy. Right, Mason? Just sucking wind. Okay? Mason can't run quietly. I guarantee it. Okay? But when we work out together, you're like, oh my God. But would you rather PT with just other women or by yourself? No. no, you're good with it? Okay. I like this group. You like this group? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's, what about seniors? I don't know. It depends on our answer. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> what about the fish? No. No, don't like it. Okay. Fair enough. So, what happened that made you this way? Competitiveness. Competitive? What do you mean? Okay. My mom was kind of like you don't have a star on your shirt, by the way. Is that low? Sorry, he wants to be a doctor. I'd like my doctor to get good grades. Right? You know what they call a doctor who gets C's? Doctor. 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 <laughs> Just picking on you, Grant. What do you got? I know it's around. So like, my mom's kind of a grade Nazi in elementary. So it's like, because of that, it's like, I've got to make good grades. So. Okay. Okay, good for you. So because of how you were brought up, she instilled competitiveness and the importance of grades. Yes, and here you are today. Okay, good. What else? Yes, sir. Uh, so I don't like doing busy work. So, like, you know, doing it, you don't really understand it. But the first time that I got to do something that was actually worthwhile and it wasn't busy work, it's like, why the hell is that kind of been doing this for so long? 
<laughs> uh, yeah, because you guys won't do it. How many of you actually remember the types of power we covered? Three or four of you? So if we didn't give you busy work and we didn't give you tests, would you remember what you learned in class? Why not? Huh? Repetition. Yep, no, but why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you learn it? Sure you will. You're going to see it the rest of your life. You're going to see those types of power the rest of your life. Why wouldn't you learn it? No reason? Okay. You won't do it. Do you have to go to college to be an engineer? No. I have a friend who never went to college. He's an engineer. Right? Have you seen Catch Me If You Can? It's an older movie with uh, Tom Hanks and Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay? And Leo DiCaprio is a con man. He's a con artist. He's got kind of a jacked up life. It's based on a true story, and this guy is now worth many millions. Right? And he's a con man, and, he, and he, uh, the FBI finally catches on to all the fraud that he's doing. And um, he passes the bar exam in a state to become a practicing lawyer. And he can't figure out how he cheated on the test. He didn't. He studied for the test and passed it and got his bar. Okay? Do you have to go to college for a lot of careers? No, it's wasting your time. Here, there's the door. Not really. We'll get into it, okay? Do you need to deal with things you don't like? Yes. Yeah. Why? Or you're just going to complain about them. Just moan. Nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> okay? You're not alone. You're going to complain about them. Okay? Good. What else? That's how you grow. What do you mean? If you're stagnant in a position and you don't come to an object that's immovable, you're going to have to figure out how to move eventually. Okay. So Okay, cool. Who don't? Who else doesn't like PT? I like the super difficult PT. <laughs> All right, good. Do you try to get better at it? Yes. How? Uh, like starting like I have chicken legs, so I started lifting more, so I can like a better runner. Yeah. Incremental improvement, right? right? Are you stronger now than you were six months ago? Yes. Why? Yeah, okay. You just do a little bit more, right? It, who does not like running? It's PT. My man, my Mason finally comes through. Okay. How do you get better at it? How do you get better at it? You do it. You do it, right? How do you improve? So we, we're already doing it. How do we get better? You do it better. Right. You run a little bit more. You run a little bit longer. You run a little bit faster. It's kind of the same thing, all right? What's another way to label things you don't like doing? What would we call it? Some bullshit. Some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good answer, okay? That's a new one, okay? What would we call it? Chores. Chores, okay. If it's something that I don't like doing and I'm not very good at it, what is it? It, huh? Terrible. Ter it is a weakness. Weakness. Right? Okay. Good. We're gonna talk about that. We've got some strengths. We've got things we like doing. Things we enjoy doing. Okay. We have things we don't like doing. Let's call those strengths and weaknesses. All right? Or <laughs> constraints. All right. Um, what's more important for you to understand? Yourself, huh? Weakness. Why? Because most people don't see their own weaknesses. Most people do not see their own weaknesses. Couldn't have said it better myself. Okay, why not? Yeah, don't want to admit what you're not good at, right? Okay. How many of you think you're pretty awesome? My man. Okay, some honesty, right? Failure. You only lost 98 pounds. You can't raise your hand. Jeez. Slacker. Okay. Yeah, most of us think we're pretty great. 
How many of you and other people and your buddies and your friends or your family or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, see weaknesses in them? Should be everybody, right? Because we love to see it. Because we'll spot it a mile away, especially when it's different. <laughs> Why do you like that, bro? That's weird. Okay? It's just different, right? Okay? Um, it's really easy for us to label other people. It's really easy for see, to see it in other people. It is much harder to see it in yourself, right? Because we don't want to acknowledge it. Are they bad? Not always. Why not? I think sometimes it's just, um, well, with the definition we just made, it's just something that you struggle with. So it's not necessarily that, like, that's a horrible thing. It's just something to improve. Okay, good. Yeah, what else? Say it again. Sure you can. Right? Is it Taylor? Yes, sir. Taylor. Okay. Did Taylor improve on pot himself? Okay. How long did it take you to lose that weight? Eight months. Eight months. From the day you decided to do that to the second day, did you improve? Mm -hmm. Yes. Every single day. Did you lose any weight that first day? Probably not. Yeah, maybe some water weight. Okay, sweated it out a little bit. Okay, at any point. So let's say you're making progress. You're three months in. You're down. Let's see, twenty pounds. Three months in. Yeah. Oh, that's that's at least. I, maybe I lost twenty pounds more. Okay, cool. So all right. So first month we're down twenty pounds. Feeling pretty good, right? How many times did you be like, man, I earned this ice cream? A few times. Hell yeah, you did. Okay, because that's exactly what we do, and stick with me for 381. It's a blast. We'll unpack all that, okay? We're not there yet. We're still figuring out why you suck. <laughs> all right. Good. What else can weaknesses do? They're not all bad. What else can they do? What can they help you do? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. They can help you what? See other... See other people's weaknesses. Why is that a good thing? Helping them? Yeah, absolutely. Where's that going to play out in life? And you work everywhere. Everywhere. You're going to work with douchebags. And they're not all douchebag. But sometimes they are, or they've got some things that are just different from you, and you have to work together. No matter what career field you go into, civilian or military, I don't care. You're going to work with people that are totally different than you and that have serious weaknesses, and you're going to have to figure it out. And guess what? You suck too. Not at everything. Some things you're good at. But they're going to know it because they're going to see it. they be like, man, this person's got problems, right? Jimmy, mm -mm. not a fan. Okay, I work with it. Good. They can also help you from keep keeping you from making the same mistakes. All right. Just try and learn from them. Can you fix them? Yes. I have one yes. So everyone else is like, nope, we're screwed. Uh, partially. Partially? What do you mean? So like, you can recognize. You can always like. So you can work on it. Yeah, it, look, it's, it's day to day. If you're better than you were yesterday, you have improved. A major fault is comparing yourselves to other people. Right? How many of you who like PT, you go to the gym, and you see the guy or the girl, and you're like, shit, I wish I looked like that dude or that gal. Right? You see that huge dude, you're like, damn it. Right? Okay, but I look like at Taylor, I'm like, Taylor's good. He's all right. Now, he wants to be bigger, better, stronger. Okay? Can you get there? Yeah, but you don't know unless you try. You have no idea, okay? Unless you actually try. Can all of you get a four point? <laughs> What's your major? Uh, visualization. Visualiz <laughs> Could you get a four point? Well, it took that long for him to change his tone here a little bit. Could you actually get a four point? <laughs> you said everybody. That's a blanket statement. Some of my buddies. 
could they? No. <laughs> we found the right major. Right? Why not? Why couldn't they? Some of them just can't pass an engineering class to save their life. Okay, should they be engineers? Okay, we might need to find where they need to be. Okay, I know everybody wants to come here and go be a petroleum engineer and make 200 grand a year out of school. Okay, most of you won't do that, all right? Alicia, is it hard to get a four point? No. No? Okay, fair enough, all right? So you set yourself up for success. Could all of you earn a four point? Why don't you? It's hard. It's hard. I don't want to. And you don't want to. Here we are back where we started, okay? I just don't want to. Right? How many of you have assignments you wait to the absolute last minute? Why? I wish I could. I don't know. <laughs> Why? Who does it? Who does their shit right away? Why, Stone? I don't like it. I don't know. Right, okay. Do you have free time at the end of the week? Yes. How you guys are the worst. You're like, oh, I got, it's not due till Friday. I got five more days, right? Oh, I got all of Wednesday. I don't have class that day, okay? Or I don't have to PT. Do you ever have large chunks of time? What do you do with them? You really don't, but even if you do, you're like, oh, I got six more hours, right? <laughs> yeah? I got to write a five-page paper. I got four more hours. Your paper's dog shit. You waited till the last minute, Okay? Why? Yes, sir. I actually wrote this in my discussion. Okay. Uh, I have a lot of confidence in my uh, performance as a writer. <laughs> no star on your shirt. Sorry? There's no star on your shirt. There's not enough pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how we make diamonds, right? Um, how much is that you just justifying the fact that you don't want to do it ahead of time? That's good to know. It's good that you know that. So you're telling yourself, man, I'm good under pressure. No, you're just lazy, bro. I said that. Maybe. Did you? Okay, cool. All right, maybe. Again, stick with me in 381. There's a lot we could unpack right there. Okay, cool. Do you want to fix them? Some. Some of them. Okay. Why or why not? You don't want to fill out a form? Okay, why, why do you have to fill out a form? But you don't have to? No. Okay, good. What, what else? Why or why not? They cut into me time. <laughs> All you guys have is me time. You like sleeping, bro. You don't even like doing anything. Okay? What, why or why not? Why are they fixable? Or why not? I'm tired of living on the line of like mediocre. Okay, so you want to fix it. Okay, because you're sitting on the line of just being mediocre. You want to be better. Like, especially my, like, academic work. Like, I'm sitting right on the edge, and I really hate that feeling, so I'm trying to do better now. Okay, so are you planning your assignments? Are you getting your work done ahead of time? Yeah, I'm working with an academic coach. Okay, good. You're a junior, bro. You know how college works. Why did it take this long? I, I don't know. How many of you high school is pretty easy? That's most of you here. How many of you came here, and it was freshman or sophomore year, and you were like, Holy shit, I don't know what I'm doing. Most of you, especially for your harder majors. Okay, and so who, didn't, who did fine freshman year and then sophomore year it caught up with them? Also fairly common in the core. Some of you came in, you're like, man, just stay focused, get my good grades, don't screw up, right? I'm here, and then sophomore year and you became heads and then you were like, oh, I got more stuff. And then, and then or classes got harder. That happened to y'all? Okay, tends to be fairly common, all right? Um, where sometimes it doesn't hit you till sophomore. Okay. Is there any reason you don't you touched on why is there any reason you don't want to fix your weaknesses? If it's not like life threatening. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just life or death? Like for procrastination is like normally I guess my stuff for like the work. So it's like even if I procrastinate, there's not gonna be like a huge consequence. So then it makes me want to like procrastinate more. Because okay. I know I can do it. Okay. So What do you mean you'll do it again? I mean, if there's a class and I procrastinate, like a five-minute assignment, turn in my five-page paper that's dog shit, but they give me an A, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> yeah, that's valid. Okay, that's valid. 
Um, I teach a, a, a writing intensive course at Sam Houston, and I actually read the papers, right? Which means it takes me a while to grade, which is hard. But I actually read the papers, and I can tell when people put zero effort in or did it at the last minute. It's painfully obvious. And you guys can tell, actually, I don't know, I, I'm used to Blackboard and eCampus. Canvas is a little newer, is newer to me, obviously. Um, but in Blackboard and eCampus, you guys could actually tell how long a professor looked at your paper. Really? Yeah. Can you do it on Canvas? Yeah, so you can actually tell if you, if, if you submit a paper, the professor will be like, oh, they looked at it for 15 seconds, or they looked at it for six minutes, okay? We're not talking about that right now. You gotta figure that out, use Google, bro. Okay, you're on your own. Um, I'm heavy and bro today, I don't know why. Okay, um, okay good. So wh why else would you not wanna fix your weaknesses? Yes, sir? <laughs> it's hard right it's hard you don't like you don't like doing it you're not good at it okay and it's not fun when i ask you guys what you like doing nobody's in school nobody you like reading right crocheting Crochet. who i had like one person who said they like reading okay Ken, i think it was kenny okay there's three of you okay how many of you did the reading this week Mason's not sure. Okay. I think you're talking about the people who like reading. It's fine. But if I, if I just said do the reading without a discussion post, who's going to do it? Yeah, maybe one or two of you. Right? And, and then you wonder why you have to take tests and regurgitate information. Because you won't do it. Right? It's up to you. Right? It's literally up to you. So, how? Are we going to go about doing this? Make a plan. What do you mean? Set up a way to actually succeed. Which would be so what? Writing it down on paper and making it a tangible goal. Okay. So we're going to write it down and document it. Good. What else? A schedule. Cool. How so? What are you going to do? What's going to help you? Okay, good. Who makes schedules or to-do lists and doesn't follow them? I get, you're not, see, this is like a group, okay? We're all in this together. This is your support group, right? Why? Why not? Angelina, right? Why not? Yeah. You look at me, I did two things out of ten, right? Okay, and then I took a nap. Okay, life was hard. Okay, but you got those two things done, didn't you? Okay, here's what you need to know about schedules. One, one of my favorite replies for a senior ever, because I asked seniors to reflect on what you wish you knew freshman year, fish year, and he wrote, for the love of God, fish wide look, set up Google Calendar. Okay, just to help him with assignment. Engineer, great student, all that stuff, but it took him a while, okay? Here's what you need to know about to-do lists and schedules. Schedules in particular, they are not a prison, okay? If you make your to-do list, if you lay out your schedule, all right, and you get some of it done, have you improved? Yes, a little, not a lot. We only got 20% done, but that's 20% improvement. If you got 20% stronger at squats, how would you feel? That's a lot, right? That's a drastic improvement. Um, there was an NBA team that was really good. Um, this was in the 80s. I think it was the Lakers. Okay? And the coach challenged them to be 1% better at the thing they were best at. So if you're a good rebounder, okay, you're, you're, in a, you're my point guard. Well, where's my, my, my short guys? We're point guards. Okay. Kennedy's my point guard. Okay? But Kennedy's awesome at assists. All right? My tall guy over here, he's, he's scoring all my points. Okay. If Kennedy gets 1% better at assists, will that help the team? Okay, so they take this really good and talented team. They don't win the championship. The next year, coach says, I want you to do 1% better at the thing you're awesome at. They won the championship. Easily. Right? Cruise to the championship. 1% improvement. That's all it takes. 
right? This is you guys going from good to great, which is not a great book. You go in the workforce, everybody will tell you to read it. Anybody heard of Good to Great? Oh, okay, good. His next book was called How the Mighty Fall or something like that. We'll get into that later. Okay. What are the consequences if you don't improve? Stagnation. Okay, what do you mean? What are your consequences? I just don't improve. You just sort of stay at the floating in the pool of your own sludge. <laughs> okay, good. All right, what else? Limits your strengths, okay? So we're not, get, we're not improving at the things we're already good at, right? Good, excellent. What else? Debilitating, what do you mean? Uh-huh. And here you are with Dr. Payne calling on you all the time. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's not gonna be it's never gonna be comfortable for you, right? Who does not like public speaking? Generally it's people's like number one fear of something they have to do in school or work. Honest to goodness. I love it. And obviously I and I was so mad. I was in a class my freshman year as an undergrad, and our comm class was like three hundred people in a lecture and then you go to a smaller class to give your speeches, right? And they were like, Who likes public speaking? And me and like three other people out of like three hundred raise our hands. And the professor was like, they're the weird ones. And I was like, screw you. That's, it's not a fault. I like it. Doesn't mean I can't improve, right? I still say, uh, or, um, all the time. Don't mean to. just happens. This is a great point about work. Again, where you're headed. Group projects. If Angelina is, does not like public speaking, but she's good at doing, doing the research, she's good at another part of a group project, what do I want her doing? The stuff she's good at. If, who likes public speaking? There's a few of you. Okay. Do you, do you want to be the public speaker? Huh? Sure. Yeah. Do you want Angelina to do it? No. No. It's okay. Play on the strengths. If you've got a group of people, play on the strengths and recognize the weaknesses. Welcome to the workforce. Okay? It's 100% okay. Because, to be honest, if I'm an employer and she's good at research, I'm glad to know that. I can teach her how to be a speaker. Okay? A little bit harder to teach a work ethic. There's a water fountain outside if you need it. Cool. What else? What are the consequences if you don't improve? Huh? You can be discredited. Discredited. What do you mean? Yep. How many of you, fish year, saw some piss heads? You were like, man, this, this person, mm-mm. Yep, most everybody. I had, um, is he a senior? He may have graduated. Dylan was his last name? Avi? Avi Dylan? Okay. Fish year, this dude, good GPA, engineer, good PT, great cadet. Okay, great dude, great cadet. Fish year, he's got someone in his face yelling at him, right? Doesn't really agree, doesn't think they're right. He rolls his eyes right in their face, okay? What happened? Nothing, okay? Because he was right. He knew they, weren't, they were not a good cadet. He knew they weren't a good leader, okay? Hilarious to me, especially just knowing him. Guy's total, like, type A, took no shit, right? Even as a fish, he was like, nah. I'm not really going to listen to you, right? Don't recommend it, but that's what happened. Okay. What else? What are the consequences? Inconvenience other people. Tell me about you. Specific. You guys speaking like generalities. It's the weakest link, right? Drag the whole unit down. Drag the whole outfit down, right? Okay, good. What else? Yeah. Shame, right? Uh, you ever have your parents? You screwed up? Who screwed up when they were younger? 
It's everybody, right? Okay, you get yelled at or whatever. Do you ever have your parents go, I'm not mad, just disappointed? It hurts, huh, Taylor? It hurts. You're like, no, just yell at me, man. This is, this is brutal. What happened? Yeah, but give me an example. What happened? Uh, in terms of what? Yeah, what, what, what happened? What was the scenario? Oh, uh, <laughs> me and my brother were play fighting, and uh, we went to bar with Okay. And then what happened with your parents? They got, they got mad. Yeah. And then what, so what happened? How'd you feel? Really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it worked, didn't it? Yeah. Okay. Same thing in training. We deal with underclass. Who loves getting in people's faces and yelling? Yeah, there's a few of you. My man. Okay, good. Terrible leaders, but we're working on it. Okay. You ever get calm on them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's that do? It scares them a little bit. It sure as hell does. Okay, when it's not the yelling. Did we talk about Johnny Kim in this class yet? No. Johnny Kim is uh, a person you should know. Okay. Johnny Kim is, um, he was an enlisted Navy SEAL. Right, um, as a medic, and then he went to Harvard Medical School, and now he's an astronaut. Huh? Yeah, I didn't know who he is. I didn't know his name, but like I know who he's talking about. Yeah, okay. Johnny Kim is better than all of us yeah. by a mile. Okay. His dad was an alcoholic. His dad used to beat on him, and I think he has a brother and his mom. And his dad got um, killed in his attic when he got shot by the police. He was armed and he was beating on him and his mom, right? And there's a million reasons why Johnny could have turned out pretty poorly. And Johnny's life could have gone wrong a number of times and ways. And Johnny found an out in being a Navy SEAL and enlisting, right? And making it through SEAL training, which is incredible. Great life accomplishment, okay? A um, couple tours, all that good stuff. And then, so he was a medic in the SEALs. And he's like, well, I don't think I'm done yet. <laughs> Hadn't gone to college. It's like, I think I want to be a physician, okay? And gets uh, school paid for because he still got GI Bill, okay, because he hadn't used it yet. And he goes to Harvard Medical School, right? Then he says, I'm going to apply to be an astronaut and get selected. I think he's the first Asian American selected. I think. I'm not positive. Okay? Not the first Asian in space, not the first Asian American, but I think the first one we selected as an astronaut. I can't remember because some people go for various reasons. Um, do you think he worked on who he was? Do you think there were plenty of times where Johnny's like, screw this. I'm giving up. Life's hard. Life's not fair. He started young and just trying to get bigger and stronger so he could fight back. It was a small improvement. He's still not a very big dude. It's a small improvement, okay? There are consequences for not improving. Put in the effort. I don't care what it is. I don't care how hard it is. It's 1% and you're better. 20%, you're kicking ass. If you try to be just a little bit better, if you acknowledge the things you suck at and you work on them, you're going to be, uh, the sky's the limit, guys. You guys are great kids, really, most of you. Not all of you. Okay, just kidding. You guys are great, really. Uh, and I think you're pretty good about being humble. You, you try really hard not to talk about how awesome you are. That's kind of a core thing. See, it's smiling already. Okay, right? And that's great, right? But you can be better. You can always be better, right? So we're going to work on that this semester. Sound good? Cool. Um, I will have this week's discussion posted um, and get that out to you guys um, I think that's it for the week who cool. it'll be awesome have a great week